Okay, today we're at Channel Street Skate Park in San Pedro, which is underneath the 110 freeway on, can you guess it? Channel Street, that's right. This is a DIY skate park, do it yourself, started in 2002. It's broken up into three sections, three bowls really, with a bunch of little added stuff on the front of it. So this is the first bowl. They're all about the same sort of pillbox shape, and they're all different, but they're all kind of long and narrow. Uh, each one kind of has its own flavor, a mix of uh, steel coping and real pool coping. That's Greg. He's a good, good buddy, good skater. This is, uh, as you can see, there's all sorts of neat art. Little uh, seat there. You guys rip that, believe it or not. And gals. So, and then we're coming over here on the third bowl. As you can tell, the first bowl is covered by the freeway. And the second bowl is kind of partially covered. And then this last bowl is not covered. Uh, and this kind of has a little shallow end. Actually, I think this one's pretty fun, this little shallow end to drop in on. Uh, and then they're doing something there. I'm not sure what they're doing. Um, but suggestion, though, from Greg is to make a, a little uh, transfer between the two. Um, and then this is the final one. And there's all sorts of little details. So the history of it is, started 2002, you know, like all uh, true DIY skate projects, totally in a kind of no man's land here with a Caltrans parking lot. Uh, guys just started building ramps. And as you can tell, there's all sorts of neat little features here. This little pool coping there, pool coping around there. And then in the back, there's another little ball. And this is just a super, super fun park. There's lots of details all around. So again, as I was saying, the history, started 2002. I forget, Greg was just telling me when it was officially sanctioned by the city, it got to a certain point where there's so much popularity and momentum behind it. And there really is no other skate spots in San Pedro. It's just kind of like, just build it and then ask for permission later. Here's information about it. I don't know if that website's still around or not. I was trying to look for it last night. And then this is the front. And there's all sorts of art and little street elements here, little quarter pipes. It really is a fun, really unique spot. Um, this is supposed to close um, temporarily so they can do some sort of infrastructure repairs or add a ramp to above, but I don't think that's gonna happen until 2014. So you have another year, so you can tell all sorts of neat art, mosaic, parking curb, and then this is the front. The top bowl has a little doorway, more mosaic artwork. It's just a kind of a fun place, even if you don't skate, just to come and look at the artwork. Really a great spot. Um, they're also building Peck Park here in San Pedro. I think once that opens, that'll sort of relieve the pressure for this to be closed temporarily, but really neat spot. Again, we're at Channel Street Skate Park in San Pedro. Come down and check this bowl out, these bowls out. They're a lot of fun. And again, if I got any of the details wrong about the history, feel free to correct me on the comments. I'm kind of riffing as I go along, but you can tell a lot of rippers here. It's kind of a quiet day today, but this park sees some incredible talent. Whoop, that guy fell. I mean, and 